Hey guys, I don't normally make this kind of video, so bear with me. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the situation with Unity. Because I've been seeing a lot of people saying that they think that maybe it's not as bad as it's being made out to be. Or that, you know, it'll be fine once things get rolled back. And I feel like these people are missing the fundamental problem with Unity. It's not about the runtime fee, the paper install. That's not the problem. That's just a symptom of the problem. The rotten core of Unity is the board of directors and John Riccatello. Those people aren't going anywhere. As long as those people are in charge, they're going to keep doing this again. Do I need to remind you that John Riccatello is the one who called indie game developers effing idiots for not over monetizing their games. He said very clearly that he thinks everyone should be putting microtransactions in their games. And if you don't, you're an idiot. That's the level of respect these people have for game developers. Then we see them implement these runtime fee pay per install. And again, I'm not going to go into the details of this. There's a hundred videos right now that are covering the minutia of what the paper install scheme is. And honestly, there's a good chance that they are going to roll it back. It looks like they're talking about rolling it back, but that doesn't fix the core problem. John Riccatello, the board of directors, they're still going to be there. They're still going to be guiding Unity down a dark path. These are people who are focused on monetization over advancement. You look at something like Unreal, which is constantly evolving their engine. They're constantly advancing and pushing the technology. Moving forward, they're going to continue to be the premier service for game engines. They're not the only ones. Godot has been rapidly improving year after year. And now there's even more investment and eyes on Godot. It's going to continue growing faster and faster. And I honestly believe that very quickly it's going to achieve parity with Unity and then eclipse Unity. So that in, I don't know, maybe four or five years down the road, Unity is just not going to keep up because that's not where their focus is. Their focus isn't on trying to be the very best engine. They aren't focused on trying to grow their technology as fast as possible. They are entirely focused on how they can squeeze their developers, how they can squeeze the end consumers, the gamers. As long as that's where their focus is, they're going to keep falling behind. I'm saying this because this should be obvious to people. They have called you idiots. They have sprung unfair business practices on you. They have shown that they have a focus on toxic ad platforms, spyware, stuff like that. They've shown you who they are. They are the abusive relationship and they're going to keep smacking you around as long as you stay with them. That's just the way this works. So yeah, there are my thoughts on this whole Unity situation. And I understand that people are hopeful. They're looking for a brighter future with Unity. If you honestly believe that even with this board of directors and John Riccatello leading the ship, that Unity has a bright future, let me know down in the comments how you see that playing out. But I wish you all the best and I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.